All right. One more area, and the Hexrim is beat. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, very pretty. Dude, this is a very well-designed little portion. There's something, nope, okay. I thought there was something, like a hidden thing behind the stair. A special secret. Can you find all four? Probably not. But I'm happy I found one of those, I guess. So where's the boss? Or where's the first batch of enemies? I need to... Energy potion, berserk potion, cook pork chop, enchanted golden key can be placed on a block of gold. Uh, so we'll open you up in a second. So am I... This is protection one, plus three armor, plus two toughness. So I'm just going to be... All right, okay, okay. I'm just equipping up here. No, I just need to dump off some stuff. A couple things. Full sand, beetroot. Oh, wait, nope. Not the big stack of arrows. You know what? Pound of mushroom stew. Okay, I'm all equipped up. I'm ready to kick ass and chew bubblegum. If not necessarily in that order. Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Oh my! Get back here! Okay, what is my... What do I need to do? What do I need... Okay, I... Killing... Ooh. Ooh, I was playing by a Vex. Oh, shoot, and I'm just right back in. Okay, I need to change strategy here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let me run, let me run, let me run. Oh. I have died more on this level. Okay. I can ignore the little bastards. I'm sorry. The little dudes. The representatives of the Lollipop Guild. Ooh, I'm about to die again. How am I not dead again? Where's another potion? Berserk potion. Let's go! I am berserk. I am angry. Holy man. And that must be be the heart. Where did I just come from? I came from there. Oh. Hello, little friend. I defeated the corrupted wizard. I knew you could do it. If I... This, now all the citizens of Hexron are safe. You may return back home farewell. That's it? Well, let's... Well, let's just... Huh! I suppose... Well, I... I guess... Is that it already? Just allowed to leave? Hmm. Well. I thought there'd be... A, I thought there would be, like... A, I thought there would be one more dungeon. I definitely mistimed that. So the Hexerin. Well... You know, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I, I would like to give a little bit of feedback on the map. You know, first off, the let me get into creative mode here. Oh, I guess I won't let me go into creative. 
Uh, first off, the map, beautifully designed. Uh, each one, excuse me, each one of the dungeons definitely felt very distinctive from the others. So the theming was immaculate through throughout. And I did like how, um, you know, I did like the NPC quests, you know, adding a little bit of variety. Um, very well designed map, very, just a very interesting, you know, story premise. Um, overall, that portion of it was great. Now, there, there are a couple things that, you know, in, in the future, if this map maker does decide to do a, a future projects, and I hope they do, um, some things that I would work on is maybe flushing out the story a little bit more. Like, we know there's the Hexer in the heart, and we know that there's this corrupted wizard, and we're trying to stop him from using, from, uh, from getting, or from corrupting the Hexerin and taking over everything and driving everybody away. But I never feel like the wizard is a huge threat. Now you've introduced, a, you've introdu the, did a good job introducing an antagonist, but then his presence is not felt throughout the rest of the map. We know we're trying to get to him, but he's not really, you know, coming in and cutscenes and threatening us or coming in and trying to stop us. Like, we, there's definitely, like, the minions, and the minions spawn in, but there's not really... I feel like there's a disconnect from the minions spawning in being connected to him. So I was, I was sleeping the other night, and that's kind of what came to me, is that, you know, there's this big bat, and I'm not... You don't really feel his presence throughout the whole map. It is a very tough boss fight, though. That was a very good boss fight. So I, I feel like the story could use a couple of tweaks like we never feel the big thing is we never feel one of the big things is that we never feel the presence or we never feel the influence of the wizard throughout throughout the map he's just kind of he's basically just relegated to a boss fight and you know that's fine i i you know that can be fine but i feel like it's a i feel like it's a real wasted opportunity this is just such a beautifully designed map so I, I feel like the story could use could use a little bit of work, or the story could use a little bit more flushing out. The premise very interesting. The map beautifully designed. The story a little bit of uh, just a little lacking, or the uh, the threat of the antagonist lacking a little bit too. I guess you know flush out the story. You know maybe make the antagonist a little bit more threatening throughout the course of the game. Uh, maybe some of those cool mechanics like the shovel. Maybe introduce uh, cool mechanics like that a little bit earlier in the game and have us use it to solve more puzzles. I, I get that this is more of a dungeon crawler than a puzzle solver, but hey, uh, maybe introduce the shovel, the sand digger, a little bit earlier and then have us use that to solve or crawl through the dungeon more. You know, I feel like that was another kind of wasted opportunity, introducing cool mechanics like that on the last level of the map. You know, there's nothing wrong with gradually introducing mechanics, but I feel like the mechanics weren't were in the cool mechanic wasn't really introduced until the end. So maybe that's something else to build upon. Overall, anybody who asked me if I would recommend this map for them to play, absolutely. I would give this map a very solid eight and a half out of ten. Um, introduce some of his mechanic, introduce the cool mechanics a little bit earlier. Maybe flush out the villain, make him feel like he's an actual um, constant threat, and I think you got yourself a very good adventure map here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.